So this question says, the vertices of rectangle ABCD are shown below. A is at point 0, B is located at 80, C is located at 85, and D is located at 25. What is the perimeter in units of rectangle ABCD? The first thing that might confuse you is this word here, vertices. Vertices is just when you have more than one vertex. And in case you don't know, a vertex is the point where two line segments meet. So let's say for example, I have this line here and this line here. They meet at this point here. Therefore, this point is what you would call the vertex. And because there's more than one vertex, we call them vertices. And rectangle ABCD is going to have four vertices. One is point A, one is point B, one is point C, and one is point D. Because I'm pretty sure that you're going to see this on a test or a quiz, even though I could make a very elaborate, very fancy coordinate plane here, I want to treat it as if I'm a student answering this on a test or quiz. So looking at this problem, the best thing to do, since it's a geometry problem, would be to draw out the rectangle ABCD. But before I can do that, I need to put a small XY coordinate plane. Again, it doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to be good enough to give us an idea of where these points are. Let's actually zoom in a little bit more so it's crystal clear. And notice, I haven't done any numbering on the XY plane yet. All I've done is I've made sure I've drawn the X axis and the Y axis. And I can actually just write the numbers in as I go along. Let's start with point A, which is at point 2, 0. That means my X value is 2 and my Y value is 0. So I'll start at the origin and I'll go over two places to the right. 1, 2. And because y is 0, I'm not going up or down. I'm staying right here at this point. And when I plot it, this will be the value of point A, which is at 2, comma, 0. So I'm done with A. Let's go to B, which is at 8, 0. So if I start at the origin, which is 0, 0, the first movement will be to 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now I'll plot this point here at 8, 0. So we're done with this one. Now let's go to 8, 5, which means I'll go 8 units to the right and then 5 units up. So I'll put 5 dashes on my y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so I'll go to the point 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 8, 5 over here. Again, remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be roughly accurate so that it helps us with our math later. So we're done with C. And now we'll go to D, which is at 2, 5. So I'll go over 2, 1, 2. Because remember, this is my X coordinate and this is my Y coordinate. So I'm starting at the origin and then going two places to the right, one, two. And from here, I'm going to go five places up because it's positive. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'll place another point there. And I'll write the location, which is at two comma five. Now that I have my four points plotted, 
or my four vertices plotted, I can connect them to make the rectangle we were talking about. So remember, point A was at 2, 0, point B was at 8, 0, point C was at 8, 5, and point D was at 2, 5. So remember, our rectangle is A, B, C, D, and then back to A. And look, it's not perfect, totally understand, and I don't intend for it to be perfect, it just has to be roughly accurate. And here's where it's going to become really useful. Remember that we're looking for the perimeter of this rectangle. Now that we have it drawn, finding the perimeter and the length of the size will be a lot easier. And how exactly do you find the perimeter of a rectangle? Well, the perimeter is the same for all shapes. You just find it by adding all the sides. So the question is, how long is each side here? Because we know that this is the point two zero and this is the point A zero, we're really going from two to eight. And how far is it on a number line from two to eight? You can actually count out each space here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this rectangle is six units long. And how high is it? And if we want to see how high the rectangle is, the width, we could just count from here, point A, to here, point D. So we're going from zero on the y-axis to five. And if you don't know the distance from zero to five, you can always count it out in the rectangle. From here, it's one, two, three, four, five. So this rectangle is five units wide. And remember, because it's a rectangle, if this side is five units, then that means that this side is five units. And if this side is six units, then this side is six units. So let's zoom out so that we can do our actual calculations now. What I'm going to do down here is just redraw rectangle ABCD a lot more neatly so we can really understand our work. So to find the perimeter of ABCD, we just have to add up all these sides. I like to add two numbers at a time. So I'm just going to add six plus six. Six plus six equals 12 units. And we're done with this side and this side. Now we can add the left and right side of the rectangle, which is five plus five and that equals 10 units. And when everything is added together, we find the perimeter of rectangle ABCD, which is 12 plus 10, and that's 22 units. So to answer our question in a complete sentence, we would say this. The perimeter of rectangle ABCD is 22 units. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Math Review.